Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is chapter three of, oh gosh, I forget the name. Uh, it's Time to Shine. This is m about Mother Teresa of Calcutta, um, St. Mother Teresa's um, Five Finger Rosary. And her Five Finger Rosary is you did it to me and it's about kind of like the song i don't know if anybody knows the song whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you did unto me i can't sing but that is what i think of when i hear that five finger rosary and so, um, what I wanted to talk today about is I'm thinking of uh, an old friend of mine, um, somebody that I used to work with, and um, she, when I was talking about the North Star, following the North Star with your compass, and your compass is like your tools, and your tools kind of, um, and this is Holly Schneider from the book I talked about many times ago. Um, many chapters ago, um, called, oh, what's her book about, um, about uh, carrying your own backpack, carry your own backpack, and, um, all these tools that are in this book, like the Oreo cookie, um, and, oh gosh, there's just so many tools that she uses, um, in the book, and I talked about them, uh, quite a long time ago, um, I don't even know where the book is in the move. Um, otherwise, I would pull it out and, and uh, go through those um, tools again because they were such good tools. So, so good. And um, so I am, um, if you want to go back to the chapter of carrying your own backpack or carry your own backpack, um, I talk about those tools there. Uh, but this particular tool she talks about is uh, following your North Star. And your compass always should be pointing north. So if you're feeling off, like you're not on the right path, you know, I constantly ask myself, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Am I um, going in the right direction? And um, that's what this is all about. It's like, where are your, how do you know you're on the path to God? How do you know that you're on the path to where you're supposed to be? And you follow your values, your morals, your, um, oh gosh, I can't think of it. You know, like not compromise on your, on your goodness or the core of who you are you're just constantly following that that um that north star and your compass leads you to the correct way so you got to constantly be focusing on this compass is it in connection to the north star which in my opinion she meant you know your highest self um your best version of yourself and that would mean, you know, your godly version or your most, um, your most advanced version in God's eyes, um, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, so I thought that was just wonderful. Um, and I don't know why I thought about that. I, I thought about what I was going to talk about today and I thought, the North Star, you know, it's a kind of like a full moon out tonight and I thought oh this is this beautiful moon and um I need to follow the north star to be the best version of myself that I can be to become who God wants me to become and that means I have to take care of myself in all ways I mean we're talking you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, um, you know, in all ways, we need to take the best care of ourselves 
for us to be the best version of ourselves, for us to be on the right path to God, for us to follow our North Star, for us to find that North Star one, star one day. Um, yeah, so I had heard one, uh, we were all made out of stardust. I don't know if that's true or not, but you know, it's nice to think about that. You know, like, we're like a magnet to the to our own North Star, wh wherever your North Star is. So, yeah. So that's what I was thinking about today. Thank you, Holly Schneider, for for your wonderful input um, and reminding and something reminded me of you today. And uh, so, if you ever see these videos, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. So, all right. So these are the angel or uh, angel tarot angel tarot cards, and the bottom card today is the Ace of Earth. I think we've had that one. And it says the inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure, venture, important documents or contracts. Oh, I didn't have that one yesterday. All right, so let's do a little more intention, dear Lord. Um, can we have just one card, one card that will show us the way to my, me personally, to my North Star. And this says the Knight of Earth. Um, I was hoping for a major arcana card, but this is okay, a minor arcana card. It says loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments and guardian angel. I like it. I'm going to pick one more for you. How, Lord, do they find their northern star? How do they find their compass that leads them to their northern star? And it's the magician. Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. And the magician is kind of like a teacher. Um, so whether that's your angels or your creator, your, your, your light, the one that, that, that drives you to goodness and the best ever version of yourself. Um, that is the card that you got. So, so I wish everybody um, the very happy day. It's cold here, um, and um, so the weather is getting colder in this area that I'm in, um, and it's just harder to have energy and and be present it's easy to just sneak under the covers and take a nap for a while but um but yeah i'm going to be taking action today um getting the job done uh, like it said and um and finding that north star and finding my compass and really focusing my compass to match the direction of the north star so have a wonderful day, everybody, and we'll chat with you tomorrow.